So it's happy hour at my house and I want a cocktail. The only problem is, is that for me and the other 400 million odd people in the world that have diabetes, that isn't always a good idea. With every pre-prepared drink, it is always chock full of sugar that's gonna do more harm than good. So this is a fun, quick and easy cocktail that I like for anyone that's of legal drinking age to have that is delicious and also really, really low in sugar. So to this, I'm going to add a couple of leaves of mint that it almost tastes like, like a mojito almost, but not quite. So you wanna crush it to bruise it. It's gonna release everything in it. Let's throw that in there. I got half a lemon. I'm gonna add like about an eighth a cup of berries. I'm using blueberries and raspberries. And the reason why I chose these is because they're in my freezer. <laughs> Uh, blueberries are full of antioxidants and they're both of them are kind of sour so they don't have too much sugar in them. I'm using some sugar-free simple syrup which is better than sugar-based simple syrup because it doesn't have sweetener in it or sugar. And I'm going to start off with a dollop and then I'm going to taste it once everything else is added. And then I'm going to add approximately two ounces of vodka to it as well. So you're also able to use fresh fruit. I decided to use frozen because I don't have ice cubes and this is what I had in the house. You don't wanna to have to go and buy a whole bunch of stuff to make a cocktail sometimes. So with all my ingredients here, I'm gonna mix this up. And that all the fruit gets defrosted a little bit, cools everything else down and breaks up and releases all the flavors. So I'm gonna just evenly pour these out between these two glasses. Oh, it's pink. Well, that's always fun. Okay, and to finish these off so that you're not just drinking straight vodka with fruit, I'm gonna use some club soda and just top them up. And also get that everywhere. So I got one for me and one for myself. So this drink is good, not only because of the flavor, but with the right type of vodka, it can be absolutely gluten-free. For me, it's completely sugar-free. It's low in carbohydrates, and it's not gonna be something that's gonna give you a crazy hangover because of the lack of sugar in it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future shows. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. Cheers!